Before we set up shop on the moon or Mars, people making the voyage need to be prepared, mm -hmm. of course. That's why a team was sealed inside a capsule called Space Analog for the Moon and Mars, or SAM, at the University of Arizona's Biosphere 2. That's right. So the four-person crew went in last Thursday, and they came out today. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo was an oracle and has more on how this latest mission went. For six days, the crew ate, slept, and worked in this 1100 square foot module. The crew emerged from the airtight pressurized habitat and were greeted by former Biosphere and Linda Lay. She spent two years inside Biosphere 2 with seven other crew members over 30 years ago. It's been very heartwarming, I think, for all of us to, to meet the Biospherians that are here um, and have their support. Cassandra Kloss is the mission commander and photographer. Each member was tasked with a different job. My job on, the, uh, on this crew was to look at accessibility um, not just from a blindness perspective, but from other perspectives of different people in different bodies. Dr. Iman Jahanger, the mission medical officer, is a cardiologist and a two-time NASA astronaut candidate finalist. What I was looking for was methods of stress mitigation. So we had various things that we did to try to mitigate stress and recorded uh, some physiologic measurements to see if any of those were affected. Bailey Burns was the mission engineer who was concerned about many things, including... The toilet works. We had no <laughs> issues. Thank you, Kai, for making sure that one worked. Uh, yeah, that was a good lesson learned, <laughs> that everything went as planned. Kai Stotts, the director of research for SAM, says all the research will be documented for other scientists who will be heading to the moon or Mars, and credited the original Biospherians. They laid the foundation, they had the vision, and here we are 30 years later carrying forward some of their ideas into a, a new way of using this facility. But wait, there's another mission on the horizon. On May 10th, another crew will be inside of SAM here, and this will be home for them as well for six days. Reporting from Oracle, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.